Hello, welcome. So yesterday I was talking about um, I was talking about the decline of Nickelodeon. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the decline of Cartoon Network, but not necessarily like the decline of the network as a whole, but more or less like its track record in the 20 cents. Because I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't really get into the network until 2011, and I don't really have much knowledge, so to speak, of 2000s Cartoon Network before. Like I've seen a couple shows. I've seen. Uh, Pop Up Girls, even that came out, I believe, in 1998. Uh, seen Conan Kiss Next Door, um, Ben 10, Teen Titans, and maybe like a couple other shows here and there. But I don't really know much about like the network in terms of, like bumpers and shit, bumpers and you know stuff going on within the network. I mean, I mean, I know some things. I know like some rumors, some things that many people always say about how like they had like live action towards the end of the decade under a Stuart Snyder, but. I don't really know too much else. I'm not really gonna like comment on it on any period where I feel like it went downhill within the 2000s because I wouldn't know. So I'm just gonna stick to the 2010s. Generally speaking, everyone seems to have the like a general consensus opinion that uh, from like 2010 through about 2013, uh, 14, that's whenever the network was in a renaissance. And honestly, I myself, I gotta agree with that because I mean the shows were really they were really improving during that time. Now everyone always talks about Adventure Time, regular show, The Miserable of Gumball, Steven Universe, even though in my opinion, like, Steven Universe, it, whenever it came out, it wasn't really all that. It, it kind of, like, improved later on, but whenever it came out, it wasn't really all that. Same with Adventure Time. Adventure Time actually did, it actually was kind of, like, growing as Cartoon Network was growing at the time, in my opinion. But even then, like, the network during that time, aside from those shows that everyone always talks about, they also had other good shows that they had Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, The Looney Tunes Show, uh, they were airing uh, the Bay Beyblade Metal Saga series. Uh, they still had Pokemon before they uh, signed their rights over Disney XD or whatever they did with it. They had a bunch of action shows. Just generally, I mean, most everything during the ne on the network during that time was generally pretty good. I mean, yeah, not everything was perfect. I remember uh, they were still airing the live action. They were actually bring still bringing out live action shows during that time, but not so many. Like they had, um, I know they had one show. Look okay, at two shows in 2010. They had Unnatural History and Tower of Prep, both of which were gone by the end of the year. 2011, I don't think they had anything other than, they, well, they had the, the Hall of Game Awards, but I, to be so, I mean, I, I remember seeing promos for that. I never actually watched the thing, but I did like it. I liked the uh, promos for it. Uh, they had Level Up in 2012 with the movie having aired, aired in 2011. Uh, and then they had Incredible Crew. Level Up and Incredible Crew are the only ones that I really remember. And even then, they didn't really know me that much. At least not Level Up, because I barely remember seeing it. And Incredible Crew, I'm glad that show got canceled. That show was pretty... Uh, it's pretty trash, honestly. But yeah, I mean, during that time, ne the network was pretty strong. If you ask me, like, 2013 was... It was kind of like the slow beginning at the time, where... The slow beginning of the decline, where, like, the shows just... As a whole, it's not even just Teen Titans Go. And everyone always says, oh, 2013, Teen Titans Go. That's when it went downhill. But if you ask me, like, the shows across the board were just kind of starting to... They weren't really hitting as much. I mean, that's whenever Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated was canceled. The LinkedIn show was mostly canceled because they only aired one episode in 2014. And I wasn't even a fan of that episode. But so if you ask me, it basically ended in 2013. Um, what else? Adventure Time and Regular Show, they were both sinking, if you ask me. Like, not super duper hard, at least not Regular Show. Regular Show was okay, and I really thought, I'd say throughout like the first half of the year, the two shows were still pretty strong, but then like in the back half of the year, they both declined in quality. Um, what else? Miserable Gumball is still pretty strong, it's still improving. And that show was still improving throughout like its third or fourth season, I'd say. That's when Black Show was, was still improving. But yeah, and they also, I did not really care for how they changed the like bumpers and everything in 2013. I was not really a fan of that change. At the time, it, it kind of made me like dislike the network. But I was still watching I me. Mean, it's still, you know, still redeemable. You know, it, the network was still pretty good throughout the remainder of uh, Stuart Snyder's ten, tenure, which ended in March of 2014, around the same time that they switched the network's uh, ending time from okay, the... AP, I think it was like 8 p.m. Wait, no, it was 9 p.m. Eastern Time to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, sorry, I live in Texas, so I go by uh, Central Time, not Eastern Time. 
but um, yeah, it, it's still pretty good. Even then, I thought that uh, 2014 as a whole was still pretty strong. I mean, they had Clarence, they had uh, Over the Garden Wall, I don't remember seeing much of. My brother loves the show, but I never really saw much of it, especially with it being like a mini series and all, but it was still pretty good. I mean, the scheduling during that time was also still pretty good. You still have variety, I mean, which is something you can't say for Nickelodeon which mostly just aired, you know, Spongebob and whatever second show was like the most, um, brought the most ratings, where they only aired like they're like, maybe like two or three most uh, highest rated shows at the time and everything else barely got any airings. Uh, so yeah, I would say like Teen Titans Go, the Teen Titans Go Network kind of started, it was maybe 2014, but definitely 2015 is where they started to really like milk it. Like I remember they had a new Thursdays in 2013 through uh, about 2014 through 2015. Then at the end of the year, they switched it over to like uh, new Titans Thursdays. And that's really around the time when they started to just milk Teen Titans Go heavily. And by 2016, 2017, basically, if you're watching the network during that time, you already know how it was. Everyone was complaining on online about how it was mostly just the Teen, the Teen Titans Network. Teen, I mean, Teen Titans Go Network. How there was not enough variety but i would say 2015 was probably like the last good year because that year had uh we bear bears coming out student universe was pretty good adventure time was starting to improve regular show was also starting to improve and i think they also had that one thing uh long live the worlds which i actually did see and it's pretty decent uh i thought that year was probably like the last good one the, in 2016 and 2017, I mean, I was still watching, but the network wasn't really doing all that much. I mean, scheduling was terrible, and they didn't really have much of any, any good shows coming out. I mean, they had the reboots. They had the uh, Powerpuff Girls reboot, the Ben 10 reboot. They also had Mighty Magic Swords. Um, yeah, they weren't... I was still watching at the time, because I, I was a Teen Times Go fan. But, yeah, I don't... I. It wasn't really all that great. And then 2018, I was already like 13 by the time, so I was kind of aging out of it. And they just really started just airing their airing their uh, shows just whenever new episodes, their shows whenever. So I basically stopped keeping up with that at some point. And I haven't really cared to watch it much since, since it's mostly like the same thing. Uh, mostly, mostly the schedule is just Teen Titans Go and the Mayor's World Gumball nowadays. Although I think they have added some variety as of recently. Like I remember seeing. The Looney Tunes show on the schedule, which is pleasant. Uh, Clarence, so they have seemed to probably, I mean, you'd have to correct me if I'm wrong, but they seem to have added some variety to the schedule, even if they did have to take like another hour off, because I think now it ends at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time, which is like 6 over here. But I think those first few hours, if I heard, if I heard correctly, were uh, like reserved for like the old old scene shows, which they're now counting as part of Adult Swim, which is kind of ridiculous, but, you know, that's the way the network is. But yeah, I mean, that's my opinion. I mean, again, like I'd say, like, early 2010s was uh, pretty good. Not like peak, but I'm definitely going to say it was very, it was very high quality. It was, it was very good. Mid was okay-ish. It was falling off. And then, like, the late, it's just hasn't really been all that great. Great. But obviously, you know, people are going to have different opinions. I mean, I'd love to hear yours. So feel free to leave a like, a comment in the uh, comment section. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.